How to be selfish or eight rules of self-love. Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my three series video about selfish people and self-love. Today is the third video and if you haven't seen the first one, the truth about selfish people or the second video, six ways how to deal with selfish people, make sure to watch them after this one. All the links are in the video description. So today I would like to talk to you about how to be selfish. The truth is that selfish people never ask this question. So when people sacrifice their own interests and realize that others ignore their opinions, they start wondering, maybe I should put my interest first. Maybe I should become more selfish and prioritize my own desires. If these thoughts came to your mind, then let me tell you, you're not selfish. Let me rephrase them for you. How do I take care of myself more? What can I do so other people respect me more? How can I stop sacrificing myself for others and start achieving my own goals? Every person who comes to my personal therapy asks this type of questions. The problem is that you are not selfish enough. You judge and criticize yourself, but forget to prize and acknowledge your good qualities. So today I will teach you how to be selfish and how to love and respect yourself more. Before we start, my name is Elena Semenek. I am a psychologist and a life coach. This is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome. On this channel, I help to boost your self-confidence, to overcome your insecurities, and to guide you in creating loving, profound relationships. My mission is to help you to be happy and to enjoy your life. So every week here on YouTube, I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, anxieties, limiting beliefs, and all other essential topics that will help you to manifest your dreams and to become happy and successful. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe, so this way you won't miss my next video on another important topic. So let's start talking about how to be selfish. How to be selfish rule number one, acknowledge your top five best qualities. Think about things that you are good at. Take a notebook and write them down. You can actually write more than five things. I recommend writing as many as you can and then arrange them, uh, listing the top, the five main qualities on top of your list. It's hard to respect yourself and to be proud of yourself if you don't have a clear understanding of what you're good at. We tend to diminish ourselves and treat our skills and talents as though they are nothing special. Let's change that. Write down everything that you're good at. For example, you might be good at organizing things or uh, you might be good at uh, being on time or you might be good at cooking or telling jokes or even complimenting other people. So write down anything that comes to your mind. It might be your personal qualities, your professional skills or your talents. Step number two, how to be selfish. Rule number two is ask a question. When you want to help another person, ask yourself, what do I get from this situation? See how you can modify the result, the outcome, so it's not only beneficial for the other person, but for you as well. For example, your mom is asking you to help her with some paperwork. Before saying okay, think how you can help your mom and get some benefits for yourself as well. For example, you can tell your mom that you will be happy to help, but after finishing her paperwork, you would like to go out with your husband and maybe you can ask her to babysit your kids. Let's move on. Rule number three, how to be selfish, is learn how to say no. 
let's say you have a sister and often she asks for help but when you need help she is usually busy even if she is your sister you need to start saying no many of us were taught that we should help our friends and family and this is true we should do that but only if they are willing to do the same for us in return so be honest with yourself if you are the one who is always doing extra things for others then maybe you need to think about setting your boundaries people are often afraid to say the actual word no so if this is difficult for you then try to find some other words instead for example you can say i would love to help but i had a very busy week and need some me time to relax and recharge another example you can say i hate saying this but unfortunately i have some other plans for the weekend you don't need to explain to people what plans you have if you're planning to binge watch tv on the weekend you don't need to tell your friends about it it's your weekend and you decide what you want to do and how you want to spend it i teach about these communication phrases the phrases that you can use almost in any situation with any person in my online course healing your inner child if you are a silver member of my happiness club then you can enroll into these courses free of charge so whoever wants to communicate successfully in any situation check out my online course healing your inner child the link to the course and the link to the happiness club membership are in the video description so let's move to the next rule how to be selfish but before that if you like this video so far please give me a like it is really important to me to know your feedback, to know your thoughts, and to know your opinions. And if you're new to my channel, then I have a gift for you. I would like to send you five free self-development webinars, five free guided meditations, and five free healing exercises. Check the link below the video, give me your email, and I'm going to send you all these healing tools free of charge. Let's move on. How to be selfish rule number four. Learn the difference between a healthy relationship and a toxic relationship. Many people are willing to do anything for the ones they love. Love does not equal struggles. Love equals being happy. Love equals joy. If you feel that most of the time your partner does not understand you, or if you have to choose your words very carefully to avoid another argument, or if you feel like you have to be alert and try to predict your partner's mood all the time, then you're probably in a toxic relationship. So if you are in a difficult situation and looking for professional advice, please pause the video and type your question in the comments. Do not miss this great opportunity to receive my professional guidance free of cost. I am here for you. So be brave. If you don't ask, I won't be able to help. Please share your stories, share your questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. So if you are not sure about your relationship, if you are not sure if your relationship is healthy or not, please watch my video entitled healthy versus unhealthy relationship the link will be in the video description and also somewhere here so let's get back to today's topic how to be selfish rule number five ask yourself what would a selfish person do in this situation most of us were raised with some type of rules and beliefs that we must always follow some of the common beliefs are you can't say no to your mother you should always help your younger sibling sharing is caring don't be greedy you should always listen to others so we all have a huge load of limiting beliefs that we carry every day 
We did not even notice that we follow them. They are embedded in our psyche on a deep level. The best way to work on your self-limiting beliefs is with a therapist, a life coach, or a mentor. But if you don't have one and feel that other people are using or even abusing your friendship, then ask yourself one question. What would a selfish person do in this situation? It is hard to notice your self-limiting beliefs, but we can imagine that situation that this situation is happening with someone else. And we can imagine that someone else is the person who always puts his priorities first. So just ask yourself what this person would say if uh, his boss is asking him to stay one hour after work without paying extra. What would this person say when their friend calls three times a day and just complains about their life? So when you remove yourself from the situation and imagine that this situation is happening to somebody else, then, and not just someone else, but the person who values their time, their money, and their effort, then you will get a lot of insights. Let's move on. How to be selfish, rule number six. State your needs as clear as possible. Most people assume that another person can read their mind. Well, we all know that this is not possible. But for some reason, we still assume that somehow our partner should know what we want. We assume that our parents should know how we feel. And we assume that our friends somehow know what we want. So uh, these misconceptions create a lot of misunderstandings. When our partner is asking us why we have a bad mood, we can get upset and even angry and even uh, blame the person uh, in not being empathetic because we assume that somehow our partner should know what's happening with us. And we can, can get angry just because the partner had to ask us this question. So start being selfish and tell people about your needs, your desires, and your opinions. Say it as clear as possible. Do not assume anything. If you are tired, say that you are tired and need some time alone. If your neck is in pain, ask your partner to give you a massage. If you got a promotion at work, tell your friends and family that it was a big deal for you and you would like to celebrate it with them. So be selfish about your needs and do not assume that other people can read your mind. Before we talk about the last two rules on how to be selfish, I would like to invite you to my happiness club that I created for people just like you who want to learn how to become confident, how to create healthy boundaries, how to be selfish perhaps, and how to create loving, profound relationship in their life. So become a member of my happiness club and receive unlimited instant access to my entire healing database that includes guided meditations, self-development webinars, life coaching techniques, breathing exercises, energy work, art therapy, and my personal support. By the way, also in the Happiness Club, members can enroll into three courses, Healing Your Inner Child, Emotional Eating, and Program Yourself for Success. To learn more, visit elenasemenek.com slash happiness or check the link below the video. Let's talk about rule number seven. How to be selfish rule number seven is slow down. When you try to help others, you simply don't have enough time for yourself. So slow down. Put a limit on how many times you're willing to help others. My suggestion is a maximum of two per week. If you help two people during the week, Pat yourself on the back and say, good job to yourself. Even if you initially fail to maintain your own limit, for example, of helping two people a week, it will still help you 
uh, this limit will help you to be aware of how much time and effort you spend on others. Just being aware of your own actions is a great step towards self-love and self-respect. And finally, how to be selfish rule number eight is dedicate time for yourself. Let me give you an example of this rule. In order to be a good parent, we need to be a good example for our kids. We need to teach our kids how to treat themselves with respect. We need to teach them that our needs are important so they can copy it and they can value their own needs. So dedicate time for yourself. We need time to take a shower or maybe spend the extra five minutes in bed in the morning. We need time to sit down and move over events. So make your personal needs as part of your daily routine. When your friends, your family, your spouse know your routine, they will respect it. They will accept it as a normal thing and they will follow it. So create a habit of dedicating time to your own needs and your own interests. There are two more videos waiting for you. Number one, the truth about selfish people. And number two is six ways how to deal with selfish people. All the links in the video description. And if you like this video and want to learn the secret of creating a happy life, enroll into my happiness club today. You can have a life you can be proud of. Check the link in the video description and enroll into my happiness club. And once again, if you need my professional advice, give me your question and I'll give you your answer. So if this video was helpful, please give me a like and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Subscribe and I will see you in my next important video. Bye!